Hey everybody, Wayne here. So this is gonna be the first of two videos talking about the installation of the 24 volt batteries and all the associated components and the inverter into the base camp. So video one, I'm gonna go through and show the open space, the items that I had to consider, test fitting the batteries, and then coming in and putting the batteries in place using angle brackets, ratchet straps, and a couple of other pieces of equipment to secure the batteries down to the floor. Video two will come back in and show you the final installation of putting in additional components, wiring, drilling an additional hole for the seven way in, uh, and getting everything set up and tested and running for the 24 volt battery system. So hope this helps you. Uh, it is a bit long and goes through details of covering the installation, but for those who've never done this before, I thought it would be a good view of what I'm thinking about, how I did it, and as you get through video one and video two, actually some of the changes that I put in place. So. Hope this is helpful. Click like and subscribe and leave any comments for anything that you have. Uh, and I'll do everything I can to answer those questions for you. So enjoy. In this step, I wanted to do a test fit of the battery and see how things are lined out. So as you can see, I pulled the seven way cable and the other cables out back underneath. Uh, I've got two holes on the floor that I'll need to, to cover up and uh, bolt down and make sure nothing get into those sides. Uh, but I want to go ahead and just test out putting the battery down to see how it fits. Uh, I've got my 10 by three shore power cable over on that end and I pulled all my others just out of the way back behind this post to see how this fits. So let's lay it down and see how it goes. Okay, the, the battery comes literally just right to the point where that seven way wire is. Um, I might be able to squeeze that back in. So I've got my cable that's got to come over to the inverter for the shore power. So I'll have to get a little more slack off of that and get over because I'll need to put the, the inverter right where my knee is. But this may work out well. Um, so I've got to come in and seal up the hole that is up underneath this battery, which was the battery box hole from uh, the box that you had for your lead acid batteries. I'm actually going to probably for right now leave the, the hole in the side open because I'm debating coming in and putting in a, uh, a computer fan here so that it starts getting warm inside of the, the space here, then I can have the fans blowing air out. The only challenge is in the winter time that also is going to let cold air in. So I'm still debating that piece and I may test both of them out and see how it works but I'll have an energy a temperature monitor in here as I'm monitoring the batteries that will let me know on that side. So I'll be able to stack the two batteries with the extra equipment make sure that it fits underneath the bench then I'll come in and secure them down. Uh, so I've got some posts that I'm going to use to, to secure it down. Um, this side's going to be a little more difficult than this side, but I might be able to use that. I've also picked up some uh, shelf liner. So it's just rubber liner that I'm going to put underneath this battery. I'm going to put on top of this one in between the two batteries just to help so that they won't slide as much. So I've got to cut this to size for those two. So now let's start the process of getting equipment in getting it hooked up, lined up, getting this secured down with my ratchet straps and with the bolts that I'm going to put in. Uh, it, since it is a server rack, I have bought some brackets that uh, I'm going to come in and install here just to see if I can help add a little additional stability. I could tie those brackets into the bottom, into the floor and to the bottom of the bench, but I'm not sure if I want to drill up into the bench to do that. But we'll just try it and see how it goes and you get to see the results. So I've cut a six by six piece of aluminum. The hole is three inches in diameter and I had planned on screwing it down but then I'm gonna have the battery sitting on top of it sitting on those screws so I'm gonna 
cheat. We'll see how this goes. I'm just going to use uh, Gorilla Super Glue, put this down, and then I'm going to have a mat that I'm going to stick on top of it that the batteries are going to sit on top. Underneath, I'm going to go under and take another uh, piece and I'm going to screw that up and cover the hole that's down there where we currently have the vent. Seal that in so we don't have any problems and I'll put some insulation down for the hole that's down here on the bottom. So we'll, uh, we'll go the easy route. So this morning I wanted to give you a little bit of a view of what I'm using to secure the batteries down to the floor. Uh, this is actually something that I had learned from the dry campers. So I'll try and put a link to their video in the description below. But <clears throat> the batteries are 18 inches, 18 and a half inches long. So I came in and cut a piece of this aluminum at 18 inches because I've also got the, uh, the server rack uh, brackets that are on there. And so I've come through and I've done two things. One, I marked out at five inches and 13 inches uh, where I wanted my ratchet straps to go. Right? And so I put a, a dot at, let's say 13 and a dot at five. And on either side, I put little marks and I'm gonna come in and drill using a one eighth bit holes for each of those two here and here. And when I do that, that'll allow me to come in and take the ratchet strap, fold it in half, and then I'll be able to put, put on my rivets. And then I can come like this with the rivets, put those in, attach them to uh, this piece of aluminum. Then along those lines, uh, I've also marked a couple of other holes. So on the bottom space, this will be where I'm gonna secure uh, the rivets and the straps down to the floor. So wherever I have a strap on either side, I put the, the marks and I'm gonna put these uh, tech screws. I'm actually using the, the three quarter inch. This is just one I had for another project. Uh, I put two on the ends for securing it down and pulling it tight. One on either side of the straps and then two on this end. And so uh, as I get inside, I've already done the first one and put the battery in. As I come in, and do the connection on the other side. I'm gonna line this up, coming up to the battery, put these in, and then I'll be able to line and screw this down in and pull the ratchet strap tight down to the ground. So I'll try and film that for you as well, but I wanted to give you an idea how to do this, and I'll link the dry camper video below of how he has done this before, to try and use it and make it easier for you to, to ratchet strap those down. Uh, I did end up having to buy a hole punch for the ratchet strap, using uh, the arrow and this particular one has uh, four different sizes and what I do like about the arrow is for green you can tie this back up to their rivets and it tells you which nozzle to use and then you can back connect those and then the straps I'm just using something that I picked up at Lowe's and I'm just using the long portion and not actually using the ratchets and I'll use this and cut it so that we can get those to tie it down so I hope that helps Okay, so now you can see I've drilled holes and I need to clean this up, but if I take one of the rivets, they'll fit inside of these 1 8 holes, right? And then I'll take the screws and then I'll put those, once I've got the rivets and the strap in, I'll take those and I'll screw those down to pull it tight and to secure the inside. So I'll show you that as I do it and hopefully I get it right. So when it comes to tying down batteries, um, I've got my battery on the side here. Uh, I've done two things. One, I've cut a piece of aluminum and put over the big hole that had been under the battery bank. The second one that I put over the hole where I had the original um, seven-way cable coming back up through. Now I've come back and put down just a black mat that I'm gonna set the battery on. I've taken a uh, piece of angled aluminum 
one inch by one inch on either side. It was a six foot piece. I've cut it 18 inches to match the battery, which is about eight and a, 18 and a half because there's a bracket on the front of the battery as you come back in. So I'm trying to avoid the front of that. I'll use that a little bit later on. So I've laid this on top. Um, I've put screws and I'm using these Tex sharp point screws. Uh, I've got, probably should use one inch, but I've got uh, three quarters that I'm using at this point. Uh, the aluminum is so thin that with three quarter inch plywood, I didn't want to go too far below. Uh, I've taken in, used rivets and I've taken just ratchet strap uh, that I'm going to use as I'm going through. Uh, punched holes in the ratchet strap, put two rivets in, and on either side of where the straps are going, I put two screws in the, the holder. I've got two screws on either end, and so this will give me a nice strong connection from coming back and holding the battery. So I'll take the first battery, put it down, second battery, put it on top, uh, then I'll put the ratchet straps, and I'll put another piece of aluminum put that on this side take the ratchet straps pull that down I'll show you how I do that then I'll take the board that has the servo the DC to DC converter the links distributor all the others and set that on top of the second battery it's velcroed so I'll get that to hold in place and then we'll come in and start redoing all the connections and making sure all the electrical is ready All right, so I have my angle that I'm going to put in. And so I've got the smaller holes, the 1 8th, for the ratchet straps, and the bigger holes for my screws, the 3 quarter, that I'm going to use to match it down. So I'm going to go ahead and line these two up. And so what I want to be able to do is pull tight on the ratchet. Um, this piece sticking out is just the rubber mat on the battery. So that's just for... Uh, flexibility inside. So I'm going to line it up with my holes and I want to double it over but I want it to finish a little bit yeah a little bit um, before the bottom because I want this to be tight. So the intent is I'll, I'll punch my holes, I'll put the rivets in, I'll come in and attach them to the side there and then I want the, the bracket to be there to where I can push down, tighten the strap, and then screw these in to make sure that it's good and tight. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. So it looks good. Do it to the other side. Yeah, that's right. So we want that here. There we go. So now, <clears throat> what I want to be able to do is to take these two in here, and this is always a bit of a challenge. So that's one. And the reason it's a challenge is the rivets will want to come out from behind the nylon. All right, so <clears throat> took a little bit to get this in. Uh, I've got the, the long side out because I want, when you break this off, that'll be the smooth end. I'm not going to want that there. So we'll try this and see if that's going to be tight enough.
Okay. So not quite as tight as I would want it. Um, but what you see is the smooth end is going to fit up against the batteries. I'm going to be able to pull this down. I'll cut this ratchet strap and I can screw these down. And so this will do two things. One, it'll hold it this way, but this uh, angle up against the bracket will also help to hold the batteries from sliding that way. And then I've got another bracket that I'm going to put in the back to keep it from sliding front and back, which I'll show you. So now we'll go on to the next one. Okay, we'll see how this goes. I've got the second set in. We'll go through and use the rivet gun. It's not the neatest. Perfect. I just need it to work. So this one's a little bit higher off the ground and so I will push that down to really put some tension on the, the ratchet strap, screw these in, that should help to pull it down and hopefully we'll have a nice tight fit as we go through. Alright, so I've got both of these screwed down. Um, I'll cut the sexus off in a second. Uh, if I look at this, this is tight, but not nearly as tight as I want. But this one is really tight because I went a little bit higher with the ratchet strap. Um, if I need to, I can always come back and redo this one or add another one. Uh, but I think between this holding the batteries down and then the brackets I'm going to put front and back to hold it then we'll be quite secure. I'll take my plywood with the, the um, Velcro that I have on top, put that on for the rest of the equipment. Uh, the only challenge it's going to cause a little bit is for the, the cover that normally comes down through here. Uh, I've got to figure out how to handle that. But that's a small, small item as we go through. So I'll cut these off. Uh, I'll trim the ends so we'll have the batteries secure so they're not going anywhere so you can slide a little bit. I'll get that lined up and then we should be good to go to start finishing up the rest of the install.